Despite the industry spending millions of dollars to convince you that marijuana is harmless or even good for you, the research is clear. Today's highly potent marijuana increases the risk of heart problems, is linked to cancer, including testicular cancer, doubles the odds of a miscarriage among women whose partners use at least once a week, increases the risk of psychosis at least five times among daily users, significantly increases the risk for suicide. It's not rocket science. When you legalize marijuana for adults, use goes up, especially among young people. Rates of marijuana use disorder, for example, increase 25% among 12 to 17 year olds in legal states versus non-legal states. But what about the argument that since alcohol and tobacco are legal, marijuana should be legal too? But that argument is flawed in at least two ways. One, marijuana carries greater mental health risks than those drugs and is more detrimental to the heart and brain. And two, even if marijuana were no more harmful than alcohol and tobacco, why would we want to increase the availability and consumption of just another toxic and addictive substance? That's kind of like saying, since my headlights are broken, I think I'll break my taillights too, just to be consistent. What about the libertarian argument? The argument that even if all of the above is true, what I do to my own body is my own business, not yours and not the government's. If only that were the case. Marijuana smoke produces at least four times as much lung damaging particulate matter as tobacco smoke, meaning the secondhand smoke results can be worse. And marijuana contains many of the same cancer causing chemicals. We are also witnessing increasing rates of high driving in legalized states, putting us all at greater danger on the road. Since marijuana was legalized in Colorado, for example, car crashes involving marijuana have skyrocketed over 150%, and they've doubled in Washington state. Crime goes up too. Rates of assault rose in Oregon after legalization and in other states. So no, it's not an individual rights issue. It's a community health and safety problem. Now, some advocates will say that they want to legalize marijuana because they believe the penalties have historically been too high for marijuana possession and that they've hurt people of color. If your goal is to lessen the penalties of use, why would you also want to commercialize marijuana, creating a multi-billion dollar industry where it can be sold and advertised benefiting big business? That's because most legalizers aren't actually interested in social justice. Legalization is about creating a new addiction for profit industry. It's about creating new users, lifelong customers, and to line the pockets of big tobacco, big alcohol, and big pharma. For all of these reasons, we should not legalize and commercialize marijuana. We don't need to criminalize it either, but in order to right the wrongs of the past, let's not create a new problem and make it much worse. We don't need another big tobacco. We don't need another big alcohol, and we certainly don't need another big pharma. We can avoid the harm big pot would cause for countless more users and non-users in the coming years. You can find out more, donate, or support us at our website, learnaboutsam.org.